Before we get into using E as a base for logarithms, let's be sure we understand how to work with E on our calculator. Follow the steps on this media link and use your calculator to compute each of the items in the table. What we're going to be working with is really e to the x, so it's an exponential function with e, the number e, as its base. On your calculator, you're going to be looking for e to the x, which is in blue. It's a second function above the ln function, which we're going to learn about in just a little bit. So let's look at e to the 0 and how to compute that. On this calculator, it's going to be second e and then to the zero. Now notice on this calculator I don't need to put in the second parentheses that's indicated in the steps on the table. So depending on your calculator you may or may not have to do that. If your calculator gives you a left paren you will need to enter the right paren to complete the input correctly. So now I'm just going to press enter and that's going to give me a result of 1 for e to the zero. Let's try e to the 1, so second ln, which gives me e to the 1. And then again, I don't need the parenthesis on this calculator. I might on a different calculator. 2.71828, this is e. This is the number that was mentioned at the top of the page. If I round that to three decimals, I get 2.718. Moving on, we have e to the third, so I'm going to enter e to the third on my calculator, 20.0855, etc. We're going to round that to three decimals, 20.086. We'll do one more here, e to the fourth, 54.598, and that is rounded to three decimals. Now let's try something a little bit different. We're going to evaluate e to the negative 1 power, and again, on this particular calculator, the way that the exponent is displayed here as an actual exponent, I do not need to enter the second parenthesis. If your calculator doesn't display this way, you will need that second parenthesis. 0.36787, let's round that. That gives us 0.368. Let's do another one, second, and then negative 2 is our exponent. Enter, 0.135, rounded. Now let's work with a coefficient, 3 times, and I don't actually have to enter the times, I can just enter e to the fifth, press enter, I get 445.239, that's rounded to 3 decimals. And then let's look at the last one, negative 4 e to the 7, enter, I get negative 4386.533 rounded to the third power.